Good morning, my friends. Today is Tuesday. Tuesday. It is Tuesday, November 6th, 2018, and I figured I would vlog today, because why not? We're going to have a good day. It's going to be a busy day. We're going to have food. I've got some exciting things to show you. So let's just jump right into a fabulous Tuesday, even though it's gloomy, gross, the leaves are falling off the trees, and it's cold. We're still gonna make it an okay day anyway. Here we go. A few things happening right now. It is the everyday Hollis live stream. Today we are minus Rachel. We just have Dave talking at us and talking about their Rise conference that sold out in 30 minutes yesterday, which I would be more heartbroken over if I was planning on buying a ticket. I do plan on saving up to buy a ticket to a future Rise conference because I'm really fired up and wanna go. Um, but this time was not that time, which is completely okay. I'm currently doing my goals and gratitude journal, which I've told you about, posted a whole video about writing things that I am grateful for and whatnot. And then I have this new prayer journal. Um, it's called Write the Word. It's from the company Cultivate What Matters. And I will show you, I bought their power sheets, but just as an example, well, I just wanna, oh. So every, I don't know if the lighting is going to show you. Can you see that there is gold foil detail on every single page, every single page. All of the stuff that they've printed is in gold foil. They have different books, and this one, the one I purchased is Cultivate Prayer. They have ones like Cultivate, cultivate Hope, Cultivate Faith, Cultivate Gratitude, and what it is is it's a kind of a guided book. So the only guide they give you is here's a, a Bible verse that you should meditate on for the day and pray about for the day. So what I've been doing is you say today is and you can do the date or today is awesome or today is my birthday or today whatever. And then you, I'm grateful for and you write a little something down and then it gives you your Bible verse there. And so what I've been doing is I've been reading in my She Reads Truth Bible um, the Bible verse and then reflecting on it. And then on the next page... It says, on my heart today, and I use this as an actual prayer journal and write down my prayers. And then, my word for the day. So this, I've been loving this. I ordered this with the Cultivate What Matters power sheets, and I've been loving it. So I'm doing that, enjoying coffee, listening to Dave talk, setting my goals. All, all right, gang, here's the current breakfast situation. We are playing kind of do a Fab Four smoothie slash let's use up what's in the house. And so today, I'm using this protein powder that I got sent probably a year and a half ago that I used briefly and then stopped using, and it needs to get used up because it expires soon. Um, this is Click Active. This is coffee and protein drink mix. So this contains 25 grams of protein, and it also has 150 milligrams of caffeine in it. So I figured this would be the perfect pre-workout breakfast and I kind of turned it into a fab four smoothie except I have no greens in here so it's actually a fab three smoothie. So what this is is two scoops of this which is three points plus and then I have some my liquid in here was not milk it was the leftover coffee that I still had in my coffee pot and some ice and then the fiber, I put two scoops of this in here, the clear acacia fiber, which is zero points plus for a serving. It adds five carbs, but it also adds five fiber. So I popped 10 grams of fiber in this bad boy. And then for my fat, I used a tablespoon of the Bulletproof XCT oil, which is four points plus, which is hefty, but it's, it's literally 130 calories, 14 grams of straight fat is all it is. Um, but it's supposed to be super good for you and the fat fills you up, the fiber fills you up. Does it taste amazing? No, but I'm drinking it anyway. And then just for fun, I popped two drops of peppermint ex extract in here cause it's mocha flavored. So I was like, well, let's have like a peppermint mocha. It's not great, but that's okay. And then something else I ate already today cause I couldn't help myself. I got myself the invite I got, I mean, I was sent the Build Bar, which you've probably seen all over Instagram. It's a new protein bar to hit the market. They are three points plus and three smart points a piece. They are covered in real chocolate. And I couldn't help myself because I'm dying to know what they taste like. So I ate the coconut flavored one for, um, I guess, early breakfast, breakfast part one. And basically, there, there are some reviews that hate them. I saw one in particular on Instagram of someone who just hated these. A lot of people love these. I think I like them. 
I really do. So I like to try things in the order, uh, the reverse order of which I think I will like them. So I like to try the flavor I'm least excited about first and work my way up to the flavor I'm most excited about. So I was actually really okay with this coconut flavor thing and I'm very wishy-washy on coconut, but they have, and these are all chocolate covered, orange, lemon, I, I'm okay. I'm, I'm not huge on chocolate covered citrus, but I'm optimistic raspberry And then the, we, these are the two that I'm psyched about double chocolate and hello salted caramel I love salted caramel anything you put chocolate on top of it, and I love it even more I'm hoping that this is as good as I want it to be um, The consistent I'll show you one of these later. I'll probably eat another one. Let's be honest um, They're only three points and 15 grams of protein six grams of fiber So I've had a lot of protein and fiber already today or will be having because of the thing basically in in a nutshell these remind me of the Russell Stover chocolate covered marshmallows that I, at first I thought they were going to be more um, Three Musketeers bar like like that kind of fluffy, but they're not they're a little bit chewier So they're basically chocolate covered marshmallows is what they remind me of and they are the same amount of points as a Russell Stover's Chocolate co sugar-free chocolate covered marshmallow in terms of smart points not points plus but smart points um, so yay I'm, I'm kind of excited about these. I'm not gonna lie. I'm I'm excited to give all these a try Here's my lunch. I stopped at the grocery store on the way home and since I was picking up lunch meat I decided I would pick up some bread that will make an epic sandwich for me um, according to the Random online I track bites thing a pretzel roll is four points plus so I'm actually going to track it as five and then we have the Jarlsberg cheese which is one point this is light six and then the turkey will be seven so it's seven points plus total which is still pretty darn good here's an unexpected review for the day I decided to buy this while I was at the store because it was on sale for still an ungodly price I think I paid $7.99 for this instead of eight or nine ninety nine Stupid expensive Jenny's ice cream like that that brand that also has all of the parlors and whatnot And I love I love a gooey butter cake like love the one from the Walmart bakery No joke is the best thing I've ever eaten in my entire life. It is so good and I was expecting and stupid expensive ice cream to be like the most decadent and delicious and OMG ice cream I've ever tasted and because it was on sale I decided that this was gonna be my splurge points be darned because its serving of this is 10 points plus and 16 smart points for two-thirds of a cup so it's already like I was like oh this is gonna be oh man oh man so when I got home it was you know out of the freezer for a little while so I'm like this will be perfect consistency to give a little bit of this a try and guys I can't even tell you how disappointed in this ice cream I am it was not nearly as creamy and decadent and ooey gooey butter cakey as I need a $10 a pint ice cream to be this was not worth the money, not worth the points, and it makes me want to never buy a Jenny's ice cream from the grocery store ever again because this was not nearly as good as I needed to be to justify the points or the money. So if you want to indulge, stick with your Ben & Jerry's or a different brand because Jenny's in the grocery store, not the way to go. It wasn't as creamy as it was icy. Like it actually had that weird icy texture that some other ice creams have. And it was just, mm. no, 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 guys, no. Are you ready for this incredibly unflattering reality? So as I was, I finished my lunch and then I went to go roll out my neck because my neck pain has been bothering me so intensely that, that I was like, oh, I just, I need to roll out. I need to do something to get rid of this pain. And um, while I was rolling out, typically my left side is the side that causes me the most issue. Today, I'm having an issue with my right side. And because of that, I was like, all right, well, let's, let's focus on it. And I rolled for a minute or two or whatever. And then I sat up and I got so nauseous, like weirdly nauseous. Um, so I was like, and this is right before I was about to take a shower. And I was like, oh, oh, snap. 
really weird okay perhaps we need to tackle this a little bit more head on so i went ahead and took a shower as you can see my hair is hair is in its little turby twist thing which by the way these are my favorite things ever so i got out of the shower and i was like we need to tackle this so head on so i'm doing as you could tell i'm doing what you guys suggested actually and the last time i was having major pain issues and you said ice it and icing it does in fact help it feel better so i rubbed some cbd pain cream on it let that sink in for a few minutes and then I went and grabbed my ice pack I'm going to take some ibuprofen because I wanted to do ice first because I want to do the little my shiatsu massager and really try and work whatever is going on out um, but it has heat and I wanted to make sure I got ice on it first so I am taking a brief break from everything that I, I need to like film I'm in a sweater and I need to like get myself ready because I have two videos I want to film today but first we got to deal with this Real life, my friends, real life. Well, friends, quarter after four, and I have to turn the lights on because it's getting too dark outside. I don't know if I can handle this, my friends. I don't know. But anyway, I wanted to show you a couple things. I did, in fact, successfully get one video filmed today. I wanted to do two, but I just... I'm... It's amazing to me how the lower neck pain can just make you feel so terrible. Just so terrible. Um, oh, which reminds me, I still never actually took my ibuprofen. The ice helped so much. I haven't, so I'm like, okay, I iced, put some makeup on, set things up to film, filmed my video, and yeah. So I need to actually do that. But like, I... <sighs> feeling kind of crummy. Feeling kind of crummy. But I wanted to show you guys a couple things first. First up is I got myself, I don't know if you guys remember last, was it last Vlogmas or two Vlogmases ago, I got myself a tea advent calendar from David's Tea and I had a great time with it. Well this year I got myself not one, not two, but three tea calendars. It was, it, yeah, I got three tea calendars. So this is the big one, their normal one. Um, which actually comes with two. Oh, well, hello there. Hello. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, it's happening. It's happening. Oh my goodness. She's crazy. She's crazy. She's going to beat up Chewbacca, which I swear to you, I see that Chewbacca toy laying around all the time and it's got the same coloring as her. So half the time, I think it's the dog laying on the floor and it's not. It's Chewbacca. They're about the same size, you know. Anyway, this is the David's Tea regular tea calendar that actually this year comes with two servings each day. And I haven't actually opened it yet because this one, I'm shocker saving for December but these these guys were on sale two for like I can't remember some, something around $50 oh my gosh I love David's tea so much so this one is 24 teas to love now what's different about this compared to the other one is these come with individual sachets so sachets is that the right word sachets of tea so i've been opening them and one of them is organic the one i just showed you is an organic tea one so they all come with one you know one packet of tea per day and this one is organic teas but it can be herbal can be caffeinated can be whatever and then this one is 24 more sleeps and this one is all herbal tea caffeine free tea which i thought was a great idea so i've been opening them on the days in november because why not? Because then I get two months of tea instead of one, and I also will just have a collection. Like, this is the kind of tea that I can throw a sachet in my bag or something. And um, I'm boiling some water right now. I've already had one. Uh, this is what I had already today the Lead Digestif, which I'm presuming is supposed to be a digestive aid. And because things, I was feeling nauseous earlier, I decided to drink this. This is actually really good tea. I would drink this even if I wasn't feeling nauseous. Um, I have sunny sea oh my goodness i'm throwing things everywhere strawberry rhubarb uh organic serenity now caramel shortbread this might be the one that i make now i can't decide um organic super ginger we've got caribbean crush we've got cocoa chai which is coconut not chocolate uh, blueberry jam and dream on this would be a good one for nighttime obviously so this is just the collection i have so far excuse me do you mind i'm talking to the people why? Why you gotta be like this? Why? <laughs> anyway. So that was one number two I wanted to show you. Guys, P.O. Box mail started coming in and it's making me 
Oh, it's just warming my heart so much. I feel like it's an early birthday present because my birthday is next week. And I just, oh, I got this card. And I'm not going to show you guys what everything says and whatnot. I got this card, which I cannot wait to respond to. And then I got my first official Christmas card. I'm so excited. But not only that, guys, she sent stuff with the Christmas card. Homemade goodies. Look at these. Christmassy and festive and so well made. I mean, look at this. Look at this. So well made. And then a little heart one. <gasps> OMG, I just noticed what it is. Oh my gosh, I didn't catch this when I opened it. Look, it's a nativity scene. It's a Christmas decoration. <gasps> oh, it's beautiful. I just thought it was a pretty pot holder or something. No, 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 no. <gasps> oh, you guys, look at the eye. Oh, 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 oh. And then there was a heart and then, and the, oh, oh my gosh. As if that's not enough. Look at so this is the one where like you look at the thing and you're like, I can't see what that is. And then you zoom out and it says Jesus. You guys see that? I love it. My husband thought this was really cute. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Dear friend who sent these things. You will be getting a Christmas card very soon. I'm actually considering um, responding to these pieces of mail right now because I don't really want to film anymore today um, in terms of like actual sit down filming. Of course, not vlogging, but... <gasps> You guys, I can't believe I didn't see this yesterday. Oh my goodness. I can't handle it. So thank you, thank you, thank you, friends who put stuff in my P.O. box. That oh, You made my day. You really did. And then the last thing I wanted to show you was just the goal planner that I talked about earlier that corresponds with the prayer journal. Um, it's from by the same co the same company, Cultivate What Matters, and these are their 2019 power sheets. And I didn't do the power sheets this past year, and I actually really miss them. And what they are, they're just a goal planner, and I really I really enjoy it. So you go in and you like reflect on yourself, who you really are, your life evaluation, and all your different areas, things you have to let go of, and whatnot. Beautiful gold foil details, amazing. And then there's different tabs, and so the first one is goals. You write down your ideas for your goals, big picture goals, and then basically you have 10 goals that you break down, create action plans for, and whatnot. And then every month you get um, pages to help you plan out your months and, and basically reach your goals. Like, what are you going to do? Monthly action items, you get a progress bar. Weekly action items, and you get to check them off when you do them in a week. And then daily action items, and it has a whole little habit tracker thing down here. Month in review. And then it just, uh, it's so simple, but it's so beautifully laid out, and it's so insightful that I'm really excited that I have these back this year. Um, I'm not affiliated with these. I'm not sponsored by any of these. I don't have any affiliate links for the tea stuff either, but I'm going to have everything linked down below just in case you guys are interested in getting your hands on this stuff. I'm actually really, really into this, and I'm going to want to get all of these eventually, the different ones. Like I said, there's hope and faith and cultivate gratitude, cultivate many different things which is really cool um so I'm really really been enjoying these things and I might start this tonight too because my husband informed me he might be out late here is dinner provided by my sister my sister has been meal prepping um one large Weight Watchers friendly meal every week and she's been sending some home with me which has been super amazing because it means I have a couple of dinners cooked already Weight Watchers friendly prepped and everything and I didn't have to do anything which is amazing so this week we have little mini meat loaves and one of these guys is three points plus but weirdly I just plugged this in this half is a half that my husband didn't eat so he put back in the container one and a half servings is only four points which is amazing and then the potatoes I tracked as one small potato which is three points so seven points total last food item of the night is a dough bar donut this is a protein donut five points plus I think seven smart points if my memory serves me correctly all right friends 10 40 p.m. I'm signing off for the night we uh, sat down and watched an episode of New Amsterdam. Are any of you watching that show? It's the new like medical drama that's on TV. We are really, really enjoying it. And I say we because even my husband enjoys it. And I don't think he really likes medical dramas. But he's really into this one. It's just, 
it's very well done. We're in about five episodes, I think, and we're really enjoying it. Um, also, any TV recommendations you may have for me on Hulu or Netflix, let me know because I sat down to watch TV not once but twice today just while I was having lunch or having dinner and couldn't think of anything that I wanted to turn on that was not a TV show that my husband and I are watching together. So we're watching Arrow, Flash, New Amsterdam, Blind Spot, Good Place, oh my goodness, Last Man Standing. Those are the shows and there might have been one or two in there that I forgot, I can't remember, but like we watch together. So I can't go watch ahead even if he's not home. So give me some suggestions. I like uplifting, happy, preferably comic, nothing to shoot them up or anything. So let me know your suggestions in the comments below. And on that note, I'm going to sign off for the night. So thank you guys for tuning in today. Take care and I will see you in the next video.